Hello and thanks for stopping by. This video is going to be brief. We're going to go through the user manual of the FX4CR, the new radio that just came out this year by the maker BG2FX. Before I go much more into this, I'm going to swing the camera back so you can see the power supply that's running the radio and I'm going to temporarily kill the lights. The middle line on that power supply is the current draw. Right now the radio in and of itself is drawing 215 milliamps. When the keys turn on, just so that they're backlit, goes up by just 4 or 5 milliamps. So it's just amazing how little power this radio draws on its regular receive mode, which is great for when you're running on batteries. Back with our light. And this is the manual that comes with it. The manual has been edited by F8 B, uh, F5BUD. Now when you open the manual it gets a little confusing because you're opening up and wait a second, why am I starting out on page 4? Well open up the manual this way, which I know looks backwards and it's not quite intuitive, but there you are at your first page. Table of contents, just what you were looking for. The next page going along is our specifications page fairly clearly well laid out uh, all of your information from top to bottom a, a quick look at the front panel let me get this laid out here quick look at the front panel of the radio showing all the various buttons and what they're labeled also down here it's giving you an illustration of the openings on the side panels of the radio now they've also taken the time to take screenshots of the front panel and give you a detailed explanation of the different data points that you're seeing on that little tiny two-inch screen. Now we're going to flip over and then we get to section four, the keypad function. They've left nothing here to chance. How do you run the keypad? A short push just makes something happen. A long push makes something else again. Like in this case, the long push turns the radio off. I'm going to pull the camera back briefly just so you can see what happens when we turn the radio back on. Brief push comes back, gives us the software version and there we are again. I'm going to go back to the manual. Continuation of the basic operation of the radio. Again, what do you have to do to push which button, whether it's a short push or a long push? Finally, the, the various menu settings that you could get into. And then they start talking about data communications. Now, BG2FX has stressed that the uh, radio is built for portability and also for doing data functions. You're going to see a little handwritten notification here. Again, this thing is being changed on the fly as new uh, updates come through. This radio will now talk to digital modes. If you tell your computer that it's a Kenwood TS590, set the baud rate at 115,200, and then give it whichever COM port your computer assigns to it, you're good to go. And there's some more details here in so far as the connectors. This is the, my favorite part of this whole thing. I'm going to blow this up just a little bit. The manual gives you a complete listing of the connectors that would go into the side of this radio so that if you want to cobble things together on your own, you can do it without risking blowing the whole radio up. That's very, very helpful. And finally, in terms of digital, I want to show you one other aspect of this radio. We're going to bring in the display if we can do this without glare. Let's just uh, kill the light. Come on. Phone. You can focus on that puppy. Right now we're showing that it's an upper sideband mode. When I go to invoke my one of my digital modes, which in this case will be on the computer right next to it. Come on, bring up the wind link, please. My computer is locked up. There we go. Wind link is on. And I open a VARA HF session. VARA comes on. And lo and behold, you'll see on the screen here where it says digital. This, this uh, radio is now in digital mode, which in plain English means the speaker's shut off. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Again, the, web, the maker is BG2FX, and his, his website is BG2FX.com.
Thank you. Take care.